Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Let's Say Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yaku. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. And in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you how to create actual error card in Flutterway. But before we get to the practical started, guys, if you are very new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. And also, don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload content about payment issue on uh, uh, as far as Flutter Wave is concerned. And lastly, but not the least, if you have any question for me as far as this tutorial on Flutter Wave is concerned, can you put your question in the comment section down below? I will definitely reply you uh, uh, about the uh, about your further inquiry. Okay, so let's get to the practical started. So I'm going to log in into my Flutter Wave account now using my Google Chrome right here. Then I need to make a new tab. So I have to click on here now to make a new tab. Next thing I'm going to do is to tap, type here to make use of the address bar and type in the website name, which is uh, floatawave.com. You can see from the screen here and click on enter. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, is to click on here, this three bar here is to click on it right now. Then from the drop down option here, I have to click on sign in. All right, guys, so the first column here is where you enter your email address and uh, here you enter your password. So I'm going to click on the first column and enter my email address. Then enter my password here. So finally, click on login to your dashboard. All right, guys, so having logged into your dashboard, so the next step you have to take is to click on the three dots here. No, oh, sorry. So we click on the three dots, this is going to pump up and uh, from the drop down option here, choose cards. Right, so the next step you have to take is to click on create card. All right, guys, so from the point here, the first column here is where you type in the name that's supposed to be on the card. Here, you choose the currency and then you choose the balance you want to fund the card from. Then you, you choose the type of the card. And uh, lastly, you click on uh, create card. But for you guys to understand the fact that before you can create a, a, a factual card, whether an error card or dollar card from Flutterwave, you need to have uh, you need to have some money in your data, I um, mean your dashboard on Flutterwave because they're going to charge you a fee for creating a card. So you can see here, if I'm creating a error card, they're going to charge me just fifty naira. So I'm going to fill up the detail, detail right now and see how you two can get it done. So the first column here, I'm going to, the first column here, I'm going to enter my name that I want to be displayed on the card. Can make everything all in capital letter. Okay. Now the next thing you have to do is to, uh, is to click on here to choose the currency you would like. So you can see NG, when you click on it, it's going to 
bring a drop down if you want to create a dollar card just tap on here if you want a error card which is already on a default so for me i'm interested in creating a error card it's going to be at a default then then the next thing you have to do is that choose card currency and how much you want to uh fund your card with so i'm going to tap in here now so i'll just type in 100 naira So 100 Naira. Now, next thing I'm going to do is to choose from the balance. You can see from the option here, choose balance to fund. That is the, uh, the where you are going to select the money to fund the card. So you have to tap on here and uh, choose the fund. So you can see I have uh, 100 Naira already in my flutter with uh, balance. I'm going to click on it. Now, having select is going to be in the in the tab now from the card information here when you tap on the card information when you tap on here there are there are two options for the card when you tap on it is either you use the card for general purpose or you use the card for facebook ads so this is depends on the kind of thing you want to create so for me i'm interested in use this card for general purpose so i will just leave it in the default of general purpose which simply means that i can use the card for facebook has and i can use the card to do some other stuff on internet so finally you have to come down here and click on create card if you are very much sure of your detail and in a correct way so you are good to go so i'm click on create card So you can see so you can see the card has been created so you can now go to your dashboard and check your card detail so the card has been created for you guys to afford a multiple card uh, create as far as this is concerned all you have to do is to exercise some patient like at least five minutes then you go to your dashboard and look for your card so you have to see the card detail uh, the way and manner you create it and uh, if you want to create multiple card you still have to follow the same procedure i make uh, I, I use in this video and i hope you guys learn one or two things in this video if you enjoyed this video please give the video a big thumbs up and also if you have not yet subscribed to this channel or kindly do so and uh, click on the subscribe and lastly but not the least don't forget to hit on the notification bell icon so whenever I, have, whenever I upload content about online payment you'll be able to get notified and watch the video so thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye for now